Lord have mercy. They're going on strike. <laughs> I, I said they're going on strike. <laughs> strike is happening. Now, before I get to the actual announcement of the strike, this is how prepared, this is how far prepared the studios were going to go against the writers. This is just the writers. I'm not even getting to the actors in a minute. This is how far the, the studios were willing to take this against the writers. Okay, here we go. According to a recent deadline report, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers is in strike for the long haul with a plan to let the Writers Guild of America bleed out before resuming negotiations. The end game is to allow things to drag on until union members start losing their apartments and losing their homes. That's a dirty game. The WGA is entering its 72nd day on the picket line, striking against the AMPTP in hopes of negotiating a new contract with, uh, with Hollywood Studios. However, sources t told the deadline that the AMPTP, led by Carol Lombard Lombardini, is not interested in negotiating with the scribes anytime soon. Quote, I think we're in for a long strike, said industry veteran with insight into the studio's perspective. Since the writers went on strike on May 2nd, Studios and streamers such as Warner Brothers, Discovery, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, Disney, and Paramount have received positive feedback from Wall Street in their quest as one studio exec told Deadline break the WGA. According to the report, the studios, streamers have been prepared for the long haul since the very beginning. It's been agreed to for months, even before the WGA went out. Nobody wanted a strike, but everybody knew this was make or break. The deadline report came approximately 30 hours before the actors union sack after is set to announce whether it will join the WGA in a strike against the AMPTP, which they just did an hour ago, two hours ago, three hours ago. OK. Now, this is how far they're prepared to go with this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Regardless of whether SAG after uh, after strikes a deal with AMPTP, the studios have no intention of coming back to the table with the WGA until the fall. Not Halloween precisely, but late October for sure is the intention. Dirty, dirty game. Uh, this is the first writer strike in 15 years. In June, the, the DGA Directors Guild of America was able to strike a tentative deal with the AMPTP. So that leaves the producers, the PGA. So right now is the PGA hasn't struck a deal. SAG just went on strike alongside with the WGA. Hollywood will never be the same after this again. I guarantee you. So let's go ahead and get right to the announcement. Let's get right to the announcement. Good afternoon to SAG after National President Fran Drescher, also chair of the negotiating committee, and Dr. Crabtree. Yes, that is Fran Drescher, the the, <laughs> the the crazy laugh. She played the, the nanny in the TV show. I think it was called the nanny. Yeah, Fred, Fran Drescher is the president of SAG AFTRA. This woman just came back from Italy a couple days ago because she knew this was going. She knew they already going to made up their mind they were, they were going to strike. So this is good. This is a good thing for the writers because had the had SAG cut a deal, the writers would have been hung out to dry. But this is great for the writers. Now the writers have some some sort of leverage. But let's get to the announcement. Good afternoon, good afternoon everybody. I'm Duncan Crouch Ireland, National Executive Director and Chief Negotiator. Man, I wish they had better microphones. Yesterday, our union celebrated the 90th anniversary of the incorporation of the Screen Actors Guild. During our nearly century-long existence, we've fought for and achieved countless gains for working actors. Today, we embark on a new important chapter in our union's history. Earlier this morning, the SAG after National Board convened following four weeks of negotiation okay, let's go. with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, the AMPTP. Because the AMPTP remains unwilling to offer a fair deal on key issues essential to protecting the livelihoods of working actors and performers, SAG after's National Board unanimously voted to issue a strike order against the studios and streamers. There it is. They issued a strike order. Everything stops. Everything stops. All these TV shows that are shooting stops. All your movies, Deadpool 3, 
They, you know, we all saw the the the, the Wolverine outfit, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Stops. If they're an actor, and they're registered through SAG, that's one hundred and sixty thousand members. Everything stops. No promos, no interviews, nothing. Everything stops. Grinding halt. This will forever change Hollywood. It won't kill Hollywood, but it will forever change Hollywood. Trust me, these studios are going to long remember this. <laughs> They're going to remember this for a very, very long time. Everything stops. Everything stops. You're only going to watch so many reruns of your favorite show. You can only watch eight seasons of Entourage so many times before you get burned out on it. You can only watch House of Dragon so many times before you get burned out on it. Okay. This is ugly. It, Hollywood will never be the same. Yes, I'm here for it too, bruh. Because guess what? Because if you're a content creator, this is like the pandemic all over again. Everybody had to stay home. So there was nothing to watch. You couldn't go outside. Everything you had to watch was at home. This is a this is a this is going to be another big boom for content creators, Twitch gamers on Twitch, Rumble guys, YouTube guys, because um, eventually the public will get burned out on reruns. They're going to be looking for new stuff. They're going to come back to YouTube. I just said this like twenty four hours ago. But let's go. I want to hear what Fran has to say. From the time negotiations began on June seventh, SAG after staff and the members of our negotiating committee have worked overtime voting their evenings, weekends, and holidays to achieving a deal that would ensure a sustainable future for the acting profession. But despite our team's efforts, the MPT... Listen, all right, so how many months? No one can foresee. But if you think if think about it, they're not even wanna, they don't even want to talk to the writers. They don't even talk... They, want, they wanted the writers to lose their homes, y'all. Y'all complain about the quality of shows. The writers... Is where it stops and starts. We just had the Emmys announcement. All the show, all the nominations for the Emmys. The Emmys is your um. It, it gives you uh, an idea of what good writing looks and sounds like. Okay, everything stops and starts with the writers. So y'all, we even we've been complaining about your favorite whatever's. The last two to three years, they're writing, they're writing, they're writing, they're writing. This is why writers are underpaid, overworked. Um, they have to split a bunch of monies amongst each other. Have you been in a writing room with 15, 16 people trying to come up with ideas for a story for this movie, this TV show, all these different ideas and opinions? It gets heated in writing rooms. I've been in two. First writing room I've ever been in was for a show called... Um, Oh, shoot. What show was it? What show? It was a kid's show. It was on Nickelodeon. This was back in 2000. And it got heated. I had never under, I had never seen anything like it. Like, you guys are here to write, you know, funny lines for people to laugh at. You know, the second writing room I was in was for, you know, it'll come back to me later on. And the second writing room I was in, uh, a fight nearly broke out between the writers. That's how intense these writer rooms gets because you have all these people. There's a hierarchy. Um, you know, people bring in their, their big dick energy into the room. And some people, you know, you have old heads, newbies. There's all this clash of ideas. People think their idea is better. And it's, a, it's, it's you, to be in a writer's room is something to experience. All right. But I really want to hear now. Okay. Um, now I do know if the, a lot of those overseas guys are not SAG, but if they are, they got to sit down too. It doesn't matter what country you're from. If you're registered as a SAG after you got to sit down. Now, what they could do is get a bunch of nobodies and fill these slots and give you probably a less than better or a, a less than good product. You could run the risk of that. Sure. Um, but yeah, I do see an ingest an ingestion of, of, of foreign content. Not like that though. I, I don't think G Dizzle motherfuckers would be sitting around watching Korean shows like that. My wife watches all that Korean shit. You know, outside of uh, Squid Games, you know, Squid Games two. I think dude is is a sag. 
you know and um but what like, this is ugly i'm here for it i'm here for it I'm here for it. Actors deserve a contract that reflects the changes that have taken place in the industry. Unfortunately, the current streaming model has undercut performers' residual income and high inflation has further reduced our members' ability to make ends meet. I can't hear what the fuck he's saying, man. Talk to the microphone, bro. Mean performers are bearing casting costs that were once the responsibility of producers. To complicate matters further, actors now face an existential threat to their livelihoods with the rise of generative AI technology. We propose contract changes that address these issues, but the AMPTP has been uninterested in our proposals. Because of this, the board has determined that union members should withhold their labor until a fair contract can be achieved. A strike is an instrument of last resort. We've Yo. four weeks to reach a deal with the AMPTP. If this thing lasts until October, what is this? What is this? What is this? This is already June, July, August, September, October. You're looking at fourth quarter. You're looking at fourth quarter. No House of Dragon has to stop production. Think about all the things that, that are currently in production right now. Damn what can't be written. So now you can't film anything. Now you can't film anything. They're currently shooting. Okay, wait. Deadpool 3 is being shot right now. They can't do Superman Legacy, James Gunn. Right? They they made they rushed to, to announce all the casting. Doesn't matter. I can't, you're not going to see Margot Robbie and um, a Ryan Gosling on, on the, doing a press run for Barbie. You're not going to see Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Everybody got to sit down. Everybody has to sit down. Everybody that's a SAG after 160,000 members sits down. Sits down. Here's the, the, the worst part about it. Only half of the members voted. And out of half the members that voted, 90% of those of that half voted to strike. And unfortunately, they have left us with no alternative. Although we're all disappointed with the AMPTP's reluctance to cooperate, the solidarity among South Africa... Ain't gonna be no Blue Beetle premiere. Ain't gonna be no Blue Beetle press run. What else comes out? Tom Cruise gotta go sit down. Can't do press run for, for Mission Impossible, bro. Got to sit down. What else comes out uh, later on this year? Y y you know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be no Aquaman 2 press run. Got to sit down, Jason Momoa, for whatever you're working on. <laughs> Got to sit down. In any and every TV show and, and movie being worked on right now stops immediately. Members has never been stronger. Based on the enthusiasm I'm seeing from everyone, I truly believe this <laughs> community the has unity and the, the resolve. Tubi. Not doobie. Due to the broad nature of our membership, this strike does not affect hey, all hey, members hey, of all hey. contract areas. Ain't no, ain't gonna be no power raising cane in season two. Sit down. Ain't gonna be no power uh, force with Tommy. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Just those working under the 2020 TV theatrical. Tulsa, Sylvester Stallone, season two, got to sit down. Got to sit down. SWAT got picked up on Paramount Plus. Shamar Moore, sit your ass down too. Everybody got to sit down. Performers working in interactive entertainment, audio books, music, commercials, and other contracts. Everybody sit down. Directly impacted. The strike will begin at midnight tonight, and all of us, union members, leadership, and staff, Midnight tonight, they go. They hit the picket lines. Everybody, sit down. Okay, this is how serious it is, because people are like, "Well, this doesn't affect me." If you're a content consumer, you like to watch these shows and movies. It's going to affect you. You're gonna burn out on on reruns. Members are urged to go to sagafterstrike.org for answers to common questions as well as information on picket locations. I'd now like to turn the microphone over. Thank you. Thank you, Duncan. And thank you, everybody, for coming to this press conference today. Go ahead, talk your shit, Fran. Come on. That this negotiation be covered because the eyes of the world, and particularly the eyes of labor, are upon us. What happens here is important because what's happening to us 
is happening across all fields of labor mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by means of when employers make Wall Street and greed mm -mm. their priority uh -oh. and they forget uh -oh. about the essential contributors that make the machine run. Fran, Fran talking that, Fran talking tough. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, check y'all Disney stocks 24 hours from now. Check your Warner Brothers stocks 24 hours from now. Okay, if you got stocks in any of these movie, uh, these movie companies, movie studios, check your stocks in 24 hours. Let me know how they turn it out. Is it going to be in the red? <laughs> we have a problem. And we are experiencing that right at this moment. This is a very seminal hour for us. Wow. I went in in earnest thinking that we would be able to avert a strike. The gravity of this move is not lost on me or our negotiating committee or our board members wow. who have voted unanimously to proceed with a strike. Yeah, yeah, uh, Club Fortune, no more movies coming out. Whatever whatever movies you got they got already in the can once to release the rest of this year. That's it. That's it. What movies you gonna watch after and, and starting in twenty twenty four with this? This this is gonna set everything back at least a year. You know? What movies what 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 are what y'all gonna go go see? What what you what? What were you looking forward to go see? Come on. Fran talking that she talking tough. What do you think about film rise and crackle apps? You still need writers and you still need actors. They only got they only have they only have what they already have in their surplus. That's it. Crackle is owned by Sony. Everybody's going to listen. No one is going to escape this unscathed. Everybody's going to have a scar, a wound. You know what I'm saying? Someone, everybody's walking away with scars on this one. It's a very serious thing that impacts thousands, if not millions of people all across this country and around the world. Not only members of this union, but people who work in other industries that I, 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 I see, people yeah. that work in this industry. And so it came with great sadness that we came to this crossroads but we had no choice. We are the victims here. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. Mm. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with are treating us. Wow. I cannot believe it, quite frankly. How far apart we are on so many things. Wow. How they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. Wow. It is disgusting. Yeah. David Shame Zaslav on. made $250 million last year. Warner, Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav made $250 million last year. Okay. I ain't never heard Fran this upset. Go ahead, sis. On them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment. We stand in solidarity in unprecedented unity. Our union and our sister unions and the unions around yes. the world this is, yes, is Nick. are this standing is Fran by Drescher. us as well as other labor unions. Because at some point, the jig is up. Uh -oh. You cannot keep being dwindled and marginalized and disrespected and dishonored. Mm. The entire business model has been changed by streaming Digital. Yeah. AI. Yeah. This is a moment of history. That is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are all going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines. Uh oh. And big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? Most of Americans don't have more than five hundred dollars. In, a, in an emergency. Damn, this friend. is a very big deal. Okay. And it weighed heavy on us. Okay. But at some point, you have to say no. We're not going to take this anymore. You people are crazy. Wow. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Privately, they all say we're the center of the wheel. Everybody else tinkers around our artistry. Wow. But actions speak louder than words. And there was nothing there. It was insulting. 
So we came together in strength and solidarity and unity with the largest strike authorization vote in our union's history. That's right. They, they received a 90% vote. Half the members voted. But out of the half of those members, out of, out of half of 160, 90% approved a strike. And we made the hard decision that we tell you as we stand before you today, this is major. It's really serious. And it's going to impact every single person that is in labor. We are fortunate enough to be in a country right now that happens to be labor friendly. And yet, we were facing opposition that was so labor unfriendly, so tone deaf wow. to what we are saying. You cannot change the business model as much as it has changed and not expect the contract to change too. We're not going to keep doing incremental changes on a contract that no longer honors what is happening right now with this business model that was... Okay, now here's... So you're saying she's fighting a losing battle. Brother, listen, the AI that everyone fears is another 10 to 15 years away, okay? Okay. You do. Nobody wants to go watch a Final Fantasy movie in AI with AI generated characters. Nobody. Stop. 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 This is a smart move. This helps the writers out. Once again, the studios only have so many movies to put out for the rest of the year. Anything they're working on right now stops. Now, I guess the question is whose stomach starts bubbling first? The studio execs that have to answer to shareholders, you know, actors can go get jobs. They're not opposed to going, going to get a job. Well, you think David Zaslov and Bob Iger <laughs> want to do anything outside of running their companies? No, there's the majority of actors in the Hollywood are working actors. This is nothing new to them. Your A-listers are going to be okay. But the majority of Hollywood actors already have a second job to begin with. So what you saying? This ain't nothing new to them. It's foisted upon us. What are we doing? Moving oh, around oh, furniture oh, 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 oh. No Emmys. We're not going to get the Emmy Awards now. That's all stops. Okay. We just had the Emmy nominations yesterday. Y'all had all these black women nominated for, for Emmys. Dominique Fishback and uh, uh, oh, oh Girl for Abbott Elementary. We ain't going to see that. We're not going to see who wins the awards because ain't no actors allowed to show up. <laughs> Titanic, it's crazy. So the jig is up, AMPTP. Uh-oh. We stand tall. You have to wake up and smell the coffee. Uh-oh. We are labor and we stand tall. And uh -oh. we demand respect. And to be honored for our contribution, you share the wealth because you cannot exist without us. There it is there. There it is there. So, that's our president. Um, questions? <laughs> yeah, ain't ain't going to be no Oscars this year. None of that. None of that. Yeah, no, no SAG awards. None of that. <laughs> So first of all, I think it's important for us to note that we respect every union's right to negotiate the contract that's right for their members. And there's nothing about our statements about not wanting to be held to pattern bargaining that in any way are, are intended to detract from the DGA's agreement or any other. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this up for my personal uh, perusal later on. Let's see. But Slatty's writers are trash. YouTuber, it's YouTubers who got more creative ideas. <laughs> 